Welcome back to Pax Christi. At many of our funeral liturgies here at Pax, a member of the deceased person's family shares a few personal words of remembrance and honor. To be honest, those experiences have taught me that there are some people who are naturally good at public speaking and others who clearly are not. The memories shared have ranged from brilliant to almost unbearable, and they often include some appropriate humor. Last week, I was at a funeral at another parish for a longtime friend who died at the age of 89. His son got up to share some memories, and thankfully, he was one of those really good speakers. They were a family of seven children living on the salary of his father, who was a public school teacher all his life. He said they didn't have a lot of money in the house, but were always well provided for. Then he shared a great story. The family loved to travel on vacation trips in the car, but it was difficult to fit nine people into any vehicle. But one day his dad came home so proud of the new station wagon that he had purchased. The one thing he'd not thought about, however, was whether it would fit into the garage, and it did not. The car was too long. The eventual solution was to punch out the front wall of the garage and elongate the structure so that the car would fit and the garage door could be closed. Knowing that family, thankfully, they would have all been laughing at the whole drama. For as funny as that story is, it's also a pretty decent metaphor for a Lenten reflection because it's a good image of how our desires sometimes can get ahead of our ability to receive them. How big is our space when it comes to welcoming God in? God, after all, is pretty big, and it may be that we have to do some enlarging of our constricted hearts and habits in order to allow him to be more present to us. God is only able to be as large and broad a force in our lives as we are willing to accommodate the gifts that he has to offer. We all say that we desire God to be with us, but what are we willing to do in order for that to happen? It might involve sacrifice and humble admission that we've made mistakes and that we're willing to try to make things better again. This season of repentance and conversion can also be thought of as a season of opening up and of tearing down walls. For each of us, that will mean something unique, and it may be well worthy of reflection about what that something is. Be well. <laughs>